Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take a look at transformations, but more specifically, we're gonna look at reflections and how we can take an image or a shape and reflect it over a line. So we're gonna jump right into our example problem here where I have triangle ABC and it asks us to reflect that triangle over the Y axis. I'm looking here at this triangle ABC it's called ABC because those are the three points that make up this triangle. And our line of reflection is the Y axis, the vertical axis here. That is what we need to reflect our triangle over. So here's how we're gonna do this problem. We're gonna take this reflection point by point. We're gonna start with point A, then point B, point C. We're gonna reflect each individual point and then we'll be able to make our new image on the other side. So let's start over here with point A. Notice that point A here is four units away from our line of reflection. Remember this y-axis is our line of reflection. We're reflecting this triangle over the y-axis and that point A is four units to the left of our line of reflection. That means if I want to reflect that point over our y-axis, and I'm going to need to go now four units to the right of our line of reflection. I see I'm going to end up at this point here and I can go ahead and mark it and label it A, but I'm not gonna just call it A because it's not our original A. Our original A is over here in blue. We're reflecting that point A four units over our line of reflections to our new A. And so we're gonna denote that by calling it A prime. We put a little apostrophe on the letter and that means that we have moved that A. The original A is here, and the new reflected A is over here as A prime. So that's our first point that we reflected. Let's go on to point B. Notice point B from our point of reflection here, our line of reflection is three units to the left. So to reflect that point, I will just need to go three units to the right and then make my point right there. And again, labeling that B, but not just as B, but as B prime. That is how we reflect a point over our line of reflection. Wherever we started, wherever that distance is, that distance holds true the opposite way as well. So three units to the left becomes three units to the right. We have one more point we need to do and that is point C over here. Well, look at that. It's only one unit away. It's one unit to the left of our line of reflection. So that means I just need to go one unit to the right. I make that final point. I'm gonna label it C prime, again C prime because it's the new point. And now since I have all three points here ready to go, I'm gonna get my ruler out and now I just have to connect all three points together. Once I do this, we will see that we have our exact same copy of our triangle ABC, but we're gonna notice now that it's reflected over the Y axis. When you have a reflection, notice a couple of things here. The shape stayed the same. It was a triangle originally, now it's a new triangle. Notice that the size is exactly the same as well. Our triangle didn't get larger and it didn't shrink and get smaller. It stayed the same size. All that changed here is just the way that triangle is oriented. Notice that it looks like we took that blue triangle and we just flipped it around to create our red triangle that we see there. Again. This was reflected over the y-axis. And if you wanna watch another video, you can see how I'll reflect it over the x-axis. But there we go. We would call this triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And that is how we successfully reflected our original triangle, ABC, over the y-axis. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.